Welcome to Academy 23. My name is Abraham. I'll be your host. Hello and welcome to all. Immediately when Jammu and Kashmir comes to our mind, a lot of factors will arise. The state turned Union Territory has been in the headlines from 1947 onwards. Whether it is the Kargil War in 1999, the surgical strike in Yuri in 2016, the recent Pulwama attack in 2019, or scrapping the Article 370 which is now in the headlines, it's all there. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about what made the present government make a drastic step to scrap the Article 370 and 35A and turn Jammu and Kashmir into a union territory. Now the question arises, what exactly is Article 370 and 35A? Article 370 is the part 21 of the Constitution of India. It deals with temporary, transitional and special provisions. The special status describes that all the provisions under the constitution will be applicable to the whole of India except Jammu and Kashmir. The Union of India could only act in defense, foreign affairs and communications. The origin of Article 370 was drafted in 1947 by Sheikh Abdullah who had been elected as the then Prime Minister of the princely state of Jammu and Kashmir by Maharaja Hari Singh and the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawala Nehru. In July 1949, Sheikh Abdullah and three other colleagues joined the Indian Constituent Assembly and negotiated the special status of Jammu and Kashmir, leading to the adoption of Article 370. Since the 1950s, there have been several efforts in making the state willingly join the union. But Article 370 got more strengthened when Sheikh Abdullah came to an agreement with the then Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, in 1975. Now let's see what is Article 35A. Article 35A was made part of the Indian Constitution in 1954 through a presidential order. It allows the Jammu and Kashmir legislature to define permanent residence of the state and provide special rights and privileges to those permanent residents. So we looked at the origins. Next let's see what changes were imposed. On August 5, 2019, the President of India, Ramnath Govind, issued a constitutional order revoking the 1954 order. This will make the provisions of the Indian constitution applicable to Jammu and Kashmir. The order makes the articles 370 and 35A of the Indian constitution ineffective. The Home Affairs Minister Amit Shah introduced a resolution in Rajya Sabha. The resolution was to reorganize the state of Jammu and Kashmir as a union territory and the Ladakh region as a separate union territory. Lastly, let's see why the articles were scrapped. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Bharatiya Janata Party had long opposed the Article 370. They argued that the articles had to be scrapped to integrate Kashmir and put it on the same foot as the rest of India. The government also claimed that it is affecting the development of Jammu and Kashmir. Although Amit Shah's announcement in parliament came as a surprise to most Indians, the government have taken time to prepare and arrive to this final decision. And that's all for now. This is your host Abraham signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to subscribe, like and share.